Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another quick video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and in our video today we're checking out Simbox and the recent updates it has received. Now Simbox has previously been reviewed on this channel and which I was quite impressed in the way it was simplistic in how you could use your tablet to control aspects of the Airbus aircraft. Simbox has since had some amazing updates and made it much more user friendly and one of the key issues with the updates it's recently had is how the latency between the interaction on your tablet to the interaction in the aircraft has drastically been reduced, meaning it is much more usable if you want to use the McDo feature in particular. Not only is the interactions with the aircraft much quicker, it's also seen a host of new features added as well, including things like a SimBrief preview if you are a user of SimBrief. Lots of new profiles have also been added. So for example, SimBox now supports the default Microsoft Flight Simulator ATR and Boeing 787. They've also added a CRJ profile as well. And for those of you who fly in X-Plane, this software also works with X-Plane and the Zebo Mod 737. What I particularly like about Simbox is the simplicity of it. Simply, once the simulator is up and running, open up the Simbox app and then ensure that it is turned on within the top toolbar in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Use your tablet to open the Simbox app, which obviously you must have downloaded free from your relevant app store. And then you can either type in your IP address or simply just scan the QR code and it'll do that for you automatically. Everything gets logged in and you are good to go and automatically detects which aircraft you're flying and connects with your tablet. In my previous video where I showed a Simbox off, it was okay. It did exactly as advertised and it worked, but there was a lag between pressing the button on my tablet and the information then getting transferred to the simulator, which then in some instances when time was of the essence, if we were busy on VATSIM or something like that, then it was a little bit frustrating and at times became unusable. Since then though, the developers have really worked on this and as you can see as I'm tapping away here now just setting up a, uh, a flight uh, the moment I'm tapping in there on my physical tablet it is uh, going straight into the simulators that you can see on the right hand side with pretty much no lag at all and this is uh, as I found it when I completed an entire flight in fact uh, previously I've also been streaming uh, my live streams and also using this as well just to test it out and I'm very very impressed of course you can see at the top of the tablet as well that I've got options for uh, the McDo and also the lights I find the lights being really really useful particularly when we're just getting clear to line up on runway or after we've landed and vacated rather than having to pan the camera up to look where the lights are and also we know there's a bug in Microsoft Flight Simulator at the moment where if you use the right mouse button to pan the camera around whilst you're also steering uh, it does interfere with that and several times I've ended up uh, off the taxi way by mistake so nice to have that option as well of course there are far more than just the three options in there in fact with the Simbox software you can control from your tablet your aircraft's autopilot you have a radio panel transponder the APU landing gear and they've recently added a Simbrief page and also a moving map which is very very useful if you're particularly flying VFR. For those simmers out there that also use a Knobster there's also a profile available so this will now sync with that as well so you get some tactile feel. I'm happy to say that the recent updates in Simbox have meant that I've actually come back to using this program to help control my aircraft and of course for those of you who do want the Phoenix A320s McDo on a tablet this is probably the best way of getting it and it's one which I've been using as I said in some recent live streams and found it to be very very useful with no latency delays of any kind. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, then please do leave a like. You can also support the channel further if you wish by super thanks, which are now available on the channel. If you are new to us, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and, of course, our live streams. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye for now.